In today's watercolor tutorial, a study of a fern. The silhouette of the fern is so beautiful in its simplicity, and it's also really fun to paint. So let's get started. Hey guys, what's up? My name is Shada Campbell. Welcome back. I am super excited to share this fern tutorial with you. This is what I call classic Shada content. It's simple, it's sophisticated, and most of all, it's fun. And before we get into that, I also have some fun news that I wanted to share. Recently, I partnered with International Open Academy to create my first e-course. This is something I've gotten a lot of requests for, and if you want Shada Campbell content and sort of have it all in one spot, this is your opportunity to do that. This is my first course and the subject is on drawing and illustration. In the future, we may have more, maybe watercolor or something like that. So let me know if that's something that interests you. But this course is all about drawing. And sometimes on this channel, we do a lot of projects and we don't always get into the meat of the subject. So this course goes through all the fundamentals, everything from contour drawing to line shading, tracing and transferring, uh, color selection, perspective and then of course we have some floral illustration you know I had to throw that in there I know you guys love drawing flowers as much as I do um, and from there we also talk about developing your own unique style and there's some projects at the end it's quite the the meaty course why is meaty the only word I can think of today anyways um, the course is a really good price it's only $49 and it's two and a half hours long so it's quite a lot of content and right now, my patrons, so if you're a patron of the channel, you can get the course for $29. So the patrons will always be able to purchase it at the discounted price. Um, so if you think about it, spending that $2 for all the bonus content kind of makes sense if you also want the course. Anyways, take a look at the course. I'm gonna to link to it and definitely let me know if you have any questions, I'll be happy to answer them. For now, let's get into today's tutorial. Today's painting is quite simple and you could use any number of different paints and brushes, but I'm going to give you my supply rundown. I've got a nice Canson watercolor sketchbook here. Um, I've got a number eight Zen round synthetic brush, and that's the only brush I'll be using, although I do have two sitting here. I have my palette, glass of clean water, and some paper for blotting. And then for paints, today I'm using my Cotman series Windsor and Newton watercolors. And I have a sap green, hooker's green, and then I have a little Prussian blue and Payne's gray. And I'm sort of mixing all of those together. I do like mixing a little bit of gray into my green just to mute it a bit, but you could also mute it by adding a bit of red. Okay, let's get into the fern painting. So I start by using the very tip, the pointed tip of that round brush to make a stem down the center of the page. And then I start with one little leaf on top and a pear and then another pear right below that first leaf. And then from there, we start drawing these branches out and adding little pairs of leaves on each branch. So it's this basic shape branch, one leaf, pair of leaf, another pair of leaves, and then so on and so on. So here the branch, the leaf, and then pairs of leaves along each branch. And every time we add another branch along the vertical length of that stem, we can add more and more pairs of leaves. So for the first one, I have two pairs and then three pairs, and then I might do three pairs again. And then for the next one, I might do four. So you guys get the idea. And you can see how I'm moving my brush here. It's uh, good to just paint these leaves in one or two strokes. Don't overwork them. You want to just use the belly of your brush. That's the larger part of the bristles that holds all of the paint and just swipe it across the page and let that be each little leaf. So don't overthink it. These leaves should be a little wonky. They should go this way and that, meaning they don't all need to move to the right or tilt to the right or tilt to the left. They can kind of 
tilt left and right within the space of one little branch and that gives you that really whimsical, very nature inspired fern painting. Does that make sense? You just want to get very loose, have fun and uh, let all these funny little leaves sort of cluster together and uh, move every which way. So that'll be the way to get this fern looking really natural and you can really see that happening here as I paint along these last couple branches because now the branches are so big and they have so many pairs of leaves that you can really see how the leaves are um, not uniform uh, one tilts left and one tilts right so it's a nice look you can always go back and add more little leaves wherever you think you might need one again don't overwork just put in a leaf and then leave it alone but if you need more that's totally fine and I've gone all the way down the length of the stem and this will be the last pair of branches that I do at the bottom here and I am just filling in trying to use the belly of my brush to make those little leaf shapes I use the tip or the point of the brush to do the branches and make them nice and thin and uh, that's all there is to it. That's the fern painting. I'm just going to fill this in here with these wonky, rounded, totally imperfect, naturally imperfect little leaves and I'm really liking the way this is turning out. My final step is simply to lengthen that stem a little bit and just give it a little more length and then uh, at this point you can sort of step back and make sure that all the leaves are looking the shape that you like. You could add a little bit of darker paint but again don't overdo it. This one looks good when it's just left alone. I really like painting these ferns a couple times. You'll get in your fern painting groove. This is another one that I did that I was really happy with and that's all there is to it. Thank you guys so much for watching today. I hope you'll subscribe for more content like this and don't forget to check out my e-course. You can uh, click the link in the description to read all about it.